Alrighty, g'day guys, welcome to another game of Legion TD on FPG. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and reroll this for sure. Guess we're playing AI. How are we versus warriors? Even if we're really bad versus warriors, I'm still not keeping all of these. I do want to keep a couple of cults though. How many? Just two is probably fine. Yeah, keep two cults, that'll be fine. Pretty good tier one, considering they're just nice and cheap. So I'd rather have the uh, double cult than the orc. See if I can just get straight into 4 0. That'd be my preference, rather than staying uh, at all low. This looks okay. Forty-five, forty-four. So, okay, forty-three. So it's one mid, probably. Well, it's mid or an ig. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty fine. It's three lands leaking. Is that like disciple maybe? Sixty-seven am, I and mean, that's not ig. It's mal. Looks like mal. Two explosions on one warrior killed all the creeps. Mouth hit. This one once or twice. Yeah, so not egg sauce so mouth. All right, so they can kind of do whatever they want because they have a bit of push to start with. But I think we're pretty content. Yeah, that was a night saber on the eighty ninety actually. I mean, we never send two, so I should probably just chill for now. Really? Eh, I don't like two into AoEs. I really don't like two. Uh, I hope we don't too. I think it's pretty bad. I think they just clear a two send and then don't really care. How many Blood Ox do we get on three? There's a little bit of time potentially for... Isn't that a... That rat is a long way back. Surely that's a bit too far back, no? Oh. Okay, what do I get? Two spirit horse? Okay, I should be doing alright here. I said he didn't want a three. He didn't kill a four, so I should be good to just lumberjack.
clear everything. Nice. Really, really happy with that for me. Oh, this did good actually with, I guess, the monk early take this. Uh, tank the spirits early and had like just enough to get away with it. I mean, they might resend, sure, but I mean, I like super hard to resend anyway, so I'm not going to stress too hard about it. It's okay. Kind of sucks, but with our rolls, it was probably um, it was probably getting lost at some point anyway, right? So we don't have particularly overbuild the rolls. Is it? Honestly, I think it's okay. They were probably taking that heal before 7 anyway. Like, it, it's not great, but I don't think it's actually a disaster. Because I, I don't think we keep that heal. Even if we keep it here, I think it's gone before 7 anyway. So it's kind of the same difference if we weren't going to do regen. Kind of a lot of lakes. Let the killing begin. Probably just six one. Yeah, I think just six one. is pretty janky already. No. It's fine. Alright, we get another spirit, which is good. Yeah, I guess, basically, I guess I get to decide if I do second Archer on 5 or not. Okay, they send here. I get Dark Troll Bowman. See how I do? I sh like, Dark Troll here shouldn't make that much difference on my lane. Obviously, Double Monk is cleaning everything here. I guess it kind of hurts the EA, but... I mean, yeah, it's not making that big a difference for me, right? Like, it's a shame I don't get one more hit and kill three creeps, but it's pretty okay, all things considered. I am, like, one attack away, like, one elite archer kill 
to one elite archer attack away from doing lumberjack here, but there's not that much time, so it's not that bad. Get zombie and mug. Yeah, zombie with Mel. Okay, so it wasn't zombie on one. Income blood up, please. Damn. So 119. These sell for how much? Sell for like 27. So 119, 139. That should be 146, right? Into. We'll just like do fine here and then the rest of my build is convenient now. So. Not in love with selling like that, but I think it makes sense here. I really don't want to send a spirit, otherwise I'm just stuck 7-1 for a million years. Hold here, reach 7-3, which is nice for me. Maybe build, like, and one more archer for 6, 7-4. Or fairly kosher. Well, that did quite well. Better than I would have thought, but... Still, the Blood Orc kills his mid semi-quickly. Actually, double mid, but... Okay, two mid's interesting. It's quite a lot of lakes for just two lines, then. They're going to have two lanes very, very, very weak. Thorn male. Should probably do some king. Even a little bit makes sense, I think. I don't think I want to ride it here. Gotcha. Yeah, Orange is really strong, which is good. Because um, he's... I don't want to say he's guaranteed mid-10, but... He should have a pretty difficult time liking 10. Which is good because obviously we've lost one heal already, probably losing another heal on seven. Probably losing another two on seven actually. So with one heal, um, you know, it's really nice to have a mid on turn and it's most likely orange. And it sure shit not me up pink, right? Yellow's probably gonna do some damage, but I wouldn't. I'd say on this roll he has a difficult time actually going mid. He's going to re-roll and he's staying to do damage, both of which I think are very very sensible. Well, I assume he's going to re-roll anyway. Doesn't need to right now, but like on or after 8 I imagine he does. Should be good. I think I want to just stay 7-4 and build up for 8, and actually like hold 8. Okay, 
so I might as well build in the Light Archer here. I guess he's going 7-4, which is why he doesn't want to do it, just wants to push right. Monk Ranger, I guess? Yeah. Okay, double ice. More damage, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I said we probably would have lost it, but considering they sent four into Monk, which I think is... I mean, it leaves me with some question marks. Like, I'm not sure why they went four. But, yeah, I expected to lose the heal anyway, but not if they, not if they send four, so maybe we, maybe we could have had four heals still here. Oh, well. Okay, nice mid. Actually, like, has everything mid, except the rats, of course, but that's very, very solid. Big hold with shockwave is actually quite nice. Should get a nice wave across most of these creeps. Oh, and the healthy monk in front? You'll have to see it. Yeah, that's really, really good. Because he got the first shockwave early to kind of help him in mid. And the second one should actually be coming off cooldown semi soon. Looks like our firmament was pretty shit though. It's two butchers on red, which is... I mean, it is run, so can't expect any, any good builds or good plays, so... Shouldn't be surprised to see two butchers having. In fairness, it does make sense in this spot because we can't really send that much seven even to Thormel. Really need like a little more attack. I guess it's gone anyway. We'll just go regen then for the next deal. Just shockwave topside, maybe. Since we uh, waved over here, um, getting the extra attack, so should be one shotting most of these creeps over this side now. I mean, we either go full 10 or skip 10, right? But it's pretty hard to skip. Like, if we have to send small to survive, we can do that, but it doesn't feel great. I mean, King 15 sounds kind of nice. I'm not sure how realistic it is. Okay, up the ship here, which is fine. So I guess let's drop a couple of harpies, maybe one mermaid, a couple of these, and reroll probably. I'm just gonna push. I don't think there's much reason for me to stay low. That being said, it would be kind of nice to maybe be doing okay on 14. I'm not sure if that's realistic from my spot though. They got two really weak lines, eh? Research complete. Yeah, honestly, two could have been alright, but I think we're seeing what these lines have, these two lines that we're leaking here. I think we're seeing what they have if we send two. Even if uh, Red and Deal potentially not doing quite so well. I 
of desire. I mean, the thing about Malf is, like, yeah, he's not mid to two send, but when it's only a small send, he's normally able to clear, unless he really, really risks. Guess he's keeping this roll. Maybe he's on 50. And I understand not wanting to roll if you're on 50, because this is like, it's workable. I do hate Highborn on 10 though. I think Mermaid's pretty good. <laughs> Don't like Highborn that much. Just because a decent amount of power is in the regen from the Highborn, and regen is pretty bad on 10 because the damage is like really focused on single targets. I think they're going to be too hard to kill early, so I think I'm just going to stay 7-6, rather than pushing more to try and kill them. I think I'll keep some clear potential in my lane. one of them. Hi. It's one count and one dead. I probably do, right? I bid you. Thinking probably just having a bunch of archers is a bit more useful than having disciple. But yeah, let's uh let's play let's play endgame. Let's play endgame guys. I'm not gonna worry about going spider. I'm not actually doing good damage here, so I'm just not too interested. Kinda wanna watch yellow's line. Cause I think your orange is like surely mid. Okay, spawn lock. He has quite a solid spawn. In, like where the bosses are. He pulled the spawn, which is pretty good I think. Kills it fairly early. Focus is a bit split here. He's leaking for sure, probably leaking too. Is big mid. Shouldn't be dying though, so that's something. Alright, eight bosses only, we should be okay. Ooh, wow, that went surprisingly well on turn. I'd. Hmm. Red Rum leaking ten. Red Rum leaking three bosses. <laughs> like three fucking bosses. That's so disgusting. How unlucky did he get? Yeah, it was a really nice mid. Wonder if we can keep this heal. It's minus one. Two. It's gonna be minus three. All right, that went well. That went better than I thought it. Would ever go. Yeah, I just 
just lost our heels there. Let's win Arena. Oh shit. That's not bad. Anyway, I'm just gonna stay 7 6 still. I don't have much bank, but I have pretty solid value. Should be able to do some amount of clearage on whichever sand level. Figured I'd drop a commander in there because winning Arena seems like a good idea. What was their last one? Was it Gate Guard last? Cool. Oh, 10 would have. Uh, sorry, 2 would have been good then. Alright, I'll take that back. I was wrong about 2. 2 would have been quite solid. It's nice. Enlightened. Oh, did he leak on? How? Did, and okay, it's not even how did he leak? How did he leak three bosses? Damn. It's just like not enough damage. Druid was probably a uh, reroll built for Arena. <laughs> Fucking yikes. That's rough. The nice thing is about that uh, rear or back one damage. It's like, yes, it's true that would make his setup better, but the nice thing is he doesn't actually need back one damage. Like, if he upgrades all his berserkers and builds some like more upgraded ice trolls, he's mid every level till 20 anyway. Well, till 17 at least. And this game is the sends. The first send this game is happening before then. So like. Yellow is absolutely correct. Should look for more damage behind his berserkers. But if he, it's just nice that his spot is good enough. Where if he doesn't find it, it doesn't matter. It's always nice to have that sort of safety net. What do we get here? Upgrade complete. 80s TOT. It's not great, but it's okay. And he can sell all the ships, which is... Well, any ships he just built here, which is nice. Got ship again. What do we get? Yeah, I mean, it's not backline damage, but... It's another tanky aura. And, as I said, we don't really need backline damage. Double melee eye, fuck yes. Out with it. Enlighten me. Been a while since I've had this much AI value. 12. Feels good. Really is a good unit on 12, huh? Wonder if we're in a position to skip 15. Probably not. Because orange is big mid, but I think it's only orange. Yellow's not particularly good on 15. Um, pink doesn't really have the value. I'm not very good on 15.
done. What? Job done. Build more off. Research complete. Enlighten me. Out with it. I guess I'll just start getting some seers. Good butcher front, like it's only three butchers though, which is nice. I think with just three butchers, one ascendant druids probably has a bit of a difficult time holding. But ascend isn't amazing, so could it definitely could happen. Also, Archer on 13. Wow. Archer good. Archer very good. Start getting some, um, start getting some Sears. Little bit of, like, quote unquote frontline. And if both teams send 15, both teams live, I mean, I'm really happy. In terms of my role, at the very least. Out with it. I think we'll build them um, here. We'll throw a couple of archers to the dogs and not worry about it too much. Let's sell this uh, small archer, actually, as well. We can do that later, though. We'll leave it for now. If I need the gold or the farm space, I'll sell it. How about that? How much do we get for 14? It's 360, right? Yeah, 360. Plus, let's just say 100 income. It's 250. Yeah, potentially being able to afford an extra seer. Skipping's a little bit risky here. I don't hate it, but it is a little bit risky. I pledge my loyalty. I bid you. I draw on someone. It's potentially an issue. I'll just grab another seer. Works for me. Job done. I mean, 3800 value. And... 10 elite archers, plus ice troll aura. I should be doing... Like... I should be able to do some amount of clear. Which could potentially be helpful. How's our king? King is pretty solid. Me. He gets Behemoth? Yeah. Oh no, I didn't. I'm doing that. I send as well. One Kraken Warlock. Two Kraken Behemoth. Two Kraken No Behemoth, so he's very easily mid then. Two Kraken Behemoth. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's some amount of clear. It's not particularly impressive. It's 
It's good that yellow leaks really light compared to the rest of us. I should push, by the way. Oh, actually, he did a lot of damage to his Fire Lord. That's really good. And obviously, he's got a pretty sizable mid. One Fire Lord only, maybe living, it's pretty close. Okay, no Fire Lords. Damn, narrowly dying. Yeah, a bit rough, but weren't the best this time. I don't know if it's outroll, but it's definitely like hard for us to hold 15. I don't think I should have rolled again though. Because I don't like only really talk. I guess talk Hydra makes me better than what I did. Um, besides that, not so much. But yeah, cheers very much for watching guys. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all of that. As always, thank you to my patrons. You guys are legends. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.